My name is Andrew. I am a multidisciplinary artist based in Bali, uh, born and raised in Jakarta, and then I moved to Singapore to study. So uh, I did my study and I work in Singapore for a bit. I work in the media and I travel around for a bit and I fell in love in Bali and decided to move to Bali. How did I decide that I want to be an eco-conscious artist? Well, you realize all of these like environmental problems that we're facing right now. And obviously, as we grow older, it's our responsibility to be more aware, taking action and becoming like a greener person than the society we were brought up to. When I create something, I want it to be like um, something that people would enjoy, something that people would think like, hey, that's really cool in a museum, but that could be really cool in my bedroom as well. And then I try to like think about the kind of like color that could blend in in everywhere. So I try to be like a bit more toned down and trying to think about how is it going to affect the interior design of the house, of the buyer. I want my art to be able to make them feel like they're cozy at home. So why did I decide on the shapes and the, the lines that I chosen? I just kind of find a way to um, make it as minimal as possible because I like minimalism visual art as well. Like a simple shape like as a circle or like as a square is there everywhere. At home uh, on your TV, your laptop is rectangle, your phone is rectangle. The mirror that you see is rectangle, so it, it blends in in like everyday like lifestyle. And I guess these are the pattern that you can just play around with and still make something new, but also feels very close to you. Why did I choose the theme of the show Equilibrium? When I was finding a, like a word to describe it, I think the best way is to find like a balance between both worlds because when I play with things, it's a paints is different world than macrame world and how can we like combine them together and find a balance in it. But um, also in this show, I collaborated with like a couple of other artists. So I'm just trying to find them together because they're such an inspiration to me. Find them together and how can we like find a balance between each other and how can we combine together. I met Irene only like in a short period of time actually, just a few months ago during an exhibition. And her work is so inspiring and so intricate in such a small manner. Whereas my work is so in like a such a bigger scale. But the color, her color is so contrast compared to my color that is so faded away. But somehow we click in the middle and then we, we connect as well. And then I was just in love with her work, with her personality, which is the total opposite of me. And like just finding the balance in the middle, I think that'll be pretty interesting. My piece that I collaborated with Platform Dance Company is inspired by them actually. They're so cool and they inspire me to like, okay, what can I do with them together? Like how can we find the balance, the equilibrium of each other? <laughs> You might not be able to do something by yourself, but like if we're doing it together, we might be able to do something. As we grow older, we always have a saying that you should be like a kid again. Like you, you, we want to go back as being a kid again, but we just never do it. <laughs> so I guess we just have to like be open-minded and try to learn asking people, like talk to people and see what can we do together, you know? So I think I want them to go back home and feeling curious and feeling like there's so many different options and possibilities out there that we just have to be brave enough to go for it and just do it. <laughs>